Forgiving design is a great concept that engineers have come up with. And I love the idea that we can, through our designs, forgive the common mistakes that people make. The problem with forgiving design is that engineers only apply it to people driving automobiles. They don't apply it to other people who, who come into contact with their designs. They don't apply it to the person riding their bike. They don't apply it to the person walking the street. They don't apply it to the kid uh, playing in the yard, chasing the kickball out into the street adjacent to the fast street that was just widened. If we're going to do forgiving design, forgiving design needs to apply to everyone and all the common mistakes that are made within the street. When we look at crossing the street, uh, we have to be cognizant of the fact that people don't always cross where they should. They don't always cross where engineers have designated them to. We have to take that into account. When we look at bikes, we understand that riding a bike is very different than driving a car. There's different physics, there's different dynamics. We need to take that into account and forgive those mistakes as well. Forgiving design is a very compassionate way to approach engineering. It's an acknowledgement that we are human and we do make mistakes and that those mistakes should not result in tragedy. We just need to expand that compassion to actually address people who are outside of an automobile with as much sensitivity as we address people who are within. I'm Chuck Marone, and that is my confession. <laughs>